Well, some of the newest information pertaining to Yellowstone is showing that an eruption could happen much faster than previously thought and that the risk right now is much greater than they were estimating. We know that this is a supervolcano. We know that when it erupts, it's not going to be pretty. We also know that here as of late, there has been ongoing swarms in the region. There have been roughly 2,500 small-scale earthquakes recorded near this volcano, and this is the largest stretch of earthquakes in this area on record. Right now, the talk is this. We just had a team of scientists spend a good amount of time in Yellowstone. The information they've come back with changes the way that they've been viewing this. They've been saying, okay, it takes hundreds of thousands of years for the whole process of an eruption to take place. Now they're saying that's not the case at all. They've gone through the ash. They've gone through all the different sediments. And in going through this, it serves as kind of a, well, similar to a tree ring, how they can get information going back in time. And what they've discovered is that right before the last big eruption, the process sped up very rapidly, meaning that it happened within decades, not hundreds of thousands of years. Decades. And that's a big difference in time, decades to hundreds of thousands of years. So the time frame has shifted with some of this newest information, and it really isn't too surprising seeing all the activity that we've witnessed here recently at Yellowstone. Per their odds here, they're saying that every 100,000 years, the Earth is going to get scarred by a supervolcano eruption. Whether that's going to, or how that's going to affect life, they don't explain, but Yellowstone definitely in that category. Wanted to run the updated information. Let it be known. More info here at this link. I'll leave it below. It's been Dabu 7.